What's up everyone? My name is Nick. Welcome to the channel. So behind me, I got I got a trailer that has some better days. And for today's episode, we're gonna start working on it. So what I've planned for today for today's um, video is most of just the grind grind back on most of the grind back on most of the Ross scene. See if we can find hidden any hidden damages with it and basically how much hell I'm about to get myself into. I know this this is going to need a lot of work. This is going to be a tremendous amount of work. I need to I need to take so I need to take the support beams off, um, mo mostly so I can get replacements for it. Um, not today, but uh, whenever the steel the steel shop opens up again, I'm gonna to have to get replacements for those. Just a whole bunch of steel that I'm gonna to have to order as well. So I'm gonna to have to like take measurements of everything. It's gonna be swell. But before we get into all that, we need to as I said, we need to grind back along the rust, get rid of all the old steel like. Like for example, the bed. There's still pieces of the bed that's still there. Um, this is going to be a lot of work. So, so I say we'll stop blubbering and actually start getting into this. So, as you can see, we've left a lot of mess on the ground. Uh, so, after about 40 minutes of work just on this one side, uh, we managed to clear it, clear it up a lot. Um, one of my biggest problems I'm going to have at this present moment is um, my angle grinder can't get into that corner to get rid of all that metal right here. So, I'm going to have to get creative on how I'm going to do that because I don't have... I don't have a tool or anything that can get into that corner. Um, so if you guys have any suggestions of what I could do to get the rest of that metal off, um, I would glad to hear your suggestion. Um, but yeah, uh, so as we got we got rid of most of the old bed off. As you can see, it's like mostly just flat right now. Um, here is where I had my trouble because I'm assuming, um, because this was left to sit for like years, um, without being used, just sitting, hitting water and all that, um, that the bed, the bed must have gotten that bad that it must have bonded with the other metal or something like that, uh, because this was the hardest to get off, as you can see, like, I struggled to get 
a lot of this off and unfortunately that means I did hit the um this actual the support thing above which is no big problem because I can easily just replace this I've got I've got I do have spare metal at the back to uh, to which I can cut up the size and actually put, weld it back on that's no that's no big problem I also did cut into the um yeah, I did cut into the suspension bracket thing, Bob, a bit, which again, no problem. Can easily get that. I can easily um, get uh, get a replacement for that. No big deal. Um, but yeah, it's uh, after welding that down, you can see how bad the um, the body really actually is. It's really that bad. Um, so there's there's going to be no if or buts. Um, I'm going to have to, like, go, as I said, like in the last video, go go along here and just cut this whole entire thing off everywhere. Uh, also, cut into this, I just realized that this is another, like, L bracket, the same as these type of things. So, um, although this is, I think this is going to be saveable, I think, um, not 100% sure on that one. But although I do, it might be savable to save this. I am, um, if glass comes to us, at least I know what to order. Um, if it does get that bad, so that's that's a little t that's a little nice tip right there to actually know. Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start grinding, uh, gonna start grinding all this down down to bare metal, and to see if you know what what is good what is bad um and see if this is actually still good hopefully it is it's it does feel like it's it is still good um but you know only time will tell once i actually grind all this down and see how bad it is our little short montage came to a stop pretty quick because just wanted to show you guys how much this rust has actually eaten away at the metal as you, as you guys can see, there's just a whole bunch of bumps and just a lot of crap everywhere. Yeah, so this is going to be pretty interesting to, say, to see if I can still save. Maybe still saveable, yes. Any wise person would probably just go get a new piece of metal. Which probably would be the smart idea to do. Um, but as I'm already here right now, um, we'll just see how bad it is here. Um, it's probably not going to be so ba as much bad as it is up here and up upwards because, as I said, like up this way was actually pretty good. It was just here onwards where I had my problems. And this is where it was really bad. Yeah, so if you guys are going to judge me about this, um, just note that this is what I was trying to deal with. Still could have done a better job, but still, I, I just, believe me. Okay, so you you guys just saw me do, just got under um got under the trailer to see what the condition. Basically, I wanted to get under the trailer to see what the condition of this metal is, and it's not looking so good at the moment. Um, so as as we mentioned before, there was a lot of uh, just a lot of holes and dents into this metal, um, where the rust was eating from where was the rust was eating through it. Um, and, uh, and under the trailer, uh, once we get under there, it's, it's actually, it's pretty, pretty much the same deal as well. Russell's just eating all along under there as well. Um, so, so I started looking at what the thickness of this was like. So as you, as once the camera wants to focus, focus. Okay, 
So, as you can see, right there, there's a, just a good chunk of metal right there. And then you just see it just varies. And this part is super thin. That's like a paper width right there. And there's just a whole bunch of, which is a whole bunch of spots where it just goes like to paper width. Um, and yeah, so I think that if the rest of the rest of the trailer going all along up there is good, once the camera wants to focus, as long as all that is good, once they start grinding it down, and there's no, and we don't have any of this that is as bad, then I'm pretty sure what I'm just going to do is I will just cut from wherever it's good, just make a cut, and just replace as much of this as possible. Otherwise, if worse comes to worse, I'm just going to have to um, replace the whole beam, which will be fun, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, why is this turning out to be a bigger job than I thought? Okay, so we do have a bit of a better story going a little bit upwards. Um, as you can tell, little still bumps, bumps here and there, but it is definitely not as bad as it is up that way. And you're probably wondering, like, oh, Nick, there's, there's like still a lot of bumps. What are you talking about? Like, this is still part of the old bed that I couldn't get off. So that would just have to be grind down, and then that will be pretty smooth. That same same with those bumps up there, but that's part of the old bed too. All all this crap is part of this body. The same with that too. That's part of this body, um, and that's just the whole bed that I couldn't get off. Other other than that, it is pretty pretty okay. I was I would say it's not the best, but it probably is newsable newsable. Um, except for down there, that's gonna have that that little part there is gonna have to be replaced. Um, but pretty much up here is pretty pretty okay. So I'm hoping that the same story hap goes along goes along here too, and some and down here as well. I'm pretty much, pretty much sure it's gonna be like the same story 
on this side like it is on that side um, but everything else being savable hopefully it is pretty bad so only time will tell with that um, but yeah uh, as you and as you guys can see as well, I was grinding away, grinding away at the frame as well. And yeah, this is like the top part is just like bumpy. The only smooth part here is here. It's here. It's the only smooth part. Otherwise, it's going through here, and like I can, I can bend that with my finger. Like yeah, that. So the top part is pretty bad. It's also going through here, going through here as well. That was pretty much a bit of hidden damage there. But other than that, on the sides, it's actually really good. It's actually really good on the side. So I might be I might be able to save this if I just chop off if I chop off the top and just weld a new piece on there, then this this could be saved. 100 percent So at least I don't have to go out and buy a new frame to go all the way up there. So yeah, next the next order of business would be to get rid of get rid of as much of this much of this crap as possible. I also want to try to get this frame. I want to try to get this support off. Um, so when I go to the steel shop to order to order all the steel I'm gonna need to get this to get this on, that I can take this in and I'll be like yo I need like I need three of these because it, um I don't care uh, if they, these are still good or not these all three of these frames are going to be to be going to be replaced because I would rather new I would rather new support beams to be put into this rather than old ones because the new the because the way I'm going to get this trellis set up is I've got I've got 14 I've got 1400 uh, kilogram um, leaf the leaf suspension thingabob which is much better than this um, I would assume um, I don't know what its max I don't know what its max um, capacity is but I'm pretty sure it's going to be better than this one um, so I want to rather than go on the assumption to say oh these are still good I want to get new ones in just to be safe to be better safe than sorry because um, yeah, I just, I don't want anything to go wrong when doing this. So, I say we get back to grinding, get as much of the, um, old, get rid of all, as much of the rust off as possible, because as I said, we got, be we got bad metal showing in here, bits and everywhere, so get as much of the rust off as possible, then I'll rock the grace, remove it, and then prime it, prime it down with primer, so here yeah, we can stop some of the rust from getting onto the metal. So, with that in mind, let's do this.
Okay, so we got that support beam off, so that's good. So when I go to order it, I know what size and whatnot I need to get. Um, unfortunately, I had to had to be a little bit creative with this, and at, at each of the ends, um, I had to leave this little part. I had to leave this little part on because, yeah, this that was that was a little bit fun. So I'm just gonna have to get on. I'm just gonna have to get under here and just get rid of those parts as well, which that will be fun. That's gonna be that is going to be swell. So once I get those, once I get those two off, I'll probably go do the second coat of primer. We are able to get under there too and do that. So this is this is going this is this is fun. Okay, so what you just saw was a grown man give up. So I was trying to do it the proper way, and then I realized that I was starting to go up into the um, into this bar, this support bar anyway. Um, so I just figured like, why not? The, all this all this part is going to have to repli be replaced anyway. So I decided to cut that off, and assuming that I'm going to have to replace that part too, I decided to I'm just going to cut that off as well anyways. Because, why not? It's, it's probably what's going to have to happen anyway. Um, yeah, because I, this, I'm, I'm assuming this whole part is going to have to be replaced anyway. Because this bracket is barely ha hanging on for dear life. So, um, I'm, I'm assuming that most of this, spot, the, this support bar is going to have to be, t uh, just going to have to repl be replaced anyway. Uh, which leads me to think that it might be better off if I actually just replace all of these support bars anyway, because I'm assuming it's going to be in a pretty inexpensive anyway. Because um, I do, ha I do have the bed. The bed is just up there. That, that you know, the bed of the trailer, um, and that was pretty, pretty, uh, pretty cheap. That was like that sent me back around about 130 or something like that. So I'm assuming. The support bars are going to be pretty inexpensive in themselves, so I'm just going to just say for the worst that um, we're just going to replace them all anyways because I'm I'm just I'm going off off by land that I'm just going to assume that they're all bad and I should not bother trying to probably try but not bother trying to save them as much. Um, but yeah, I guess. Well, guess what? We'll we'll see. So I think for the ne next next, well, I think for the next order of business, I don't think I'm gonna touch the suspend. I don't think I'm gonna touch the suspension until I get until I get the the new until I get the new metal to go all around here. Just so once once um you know once we do get the metal, we put it and we put it onto the body and all that, that we can just um. So that I could just weld the new the new one to the the new suspension to the new metal and just we'll just go, go off by there um, So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do now is look for more hidden damage And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start take off the bottom part here and See how bad it is really under there um because take, by taking this off and seeing how bad it is, it gives me an idea of how bad this is going to be as well. 
Um, not so much up there, because up there is pretty much good, but yeah, these two songs is, what, is what's bad. Uh, it's, you, you, you can, yeah, we'll move on from that. Um, so, as I said, we'll, we'll go, we'll go along here, and we'll fit, and we'll get, we'll get this part of the body off, and see how bad things really are. After I get the, that's not the primer, where's the primer? After I get the next pr the lower primer on to the metal, because, as although, as although I said I'm probably going to replace it, I rather, it's staying in somewhat good condition, just in an off chance. Anyway, second coat. Took a lot longer than expected, but we got there in the end. Um, so yeah, it probably ended up being a good thing that we're doing this because although I wasn't able to get the complete, the full, the full part of the body off, uh, you can tell. Um, yeah, this it was doing no good at all. So definitely, the top part had to go, and that part is also going to have to go as well. So. Uh, yeah, so I'm, d I'm definitely going to go with the plan of cutting all along here, all around here, and then replacing it with new ones. Um, and I'm, de I'm, I'm definitely going to have to, um, I'm going to have to get all this off. I'm going to have to get all this off, all of the extra body, get it off. The fun, the fun, the, also, the fun part is, it's also getting, it's also going to get late for me, so I'm going to quickly switch it, I'm going to switch it, quickly switch it off to do that grind all this down to the best as I, to the best as I can and then I'm gonna get this all primed in and I think this is going to call it, call it for this video and it's, it is beginning it's past four o'clock oh it is four o'clock it's getting real late um, and yeah I need to start wrapping this up so what I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do now is do what I was gonna do and uh, get it all grinded down so I can prime it all in so we can stop the rust from growing even more. So that's what I'm gonna. Well, that's what I'm gonna do. So time lapse once again.
Okay, so, oh god, I just sprayed that on myself. Oh, god damn it. I primed myself by accident. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. God damn it. Put that over there. Uh, okay, well, anyway, we got every we got everything primed in, so that's all hunky dory now. So we're just gonna let that sit, we're just gonna let that sit, and then for um, and then we'll leave this alone until the next day that I I get back onto this. Okay, so probably so this is probably why I'm gonna leave it off for t for today's video. So hopefully hopefully in the next video hopefully in the next video we'll grind the rest of the, all the rest of that off. Uh, so that will be all hunky dory, and then we'll probably um, start going all, on all towards the other side and doing the same thing that we've done on this side over to this side, and just get everything all nice and good so we know what what to what to do. Um, so I know I know the metal that we need to I know all the metal that we're gonna have to get replaced. So we're gonna have to get new. We need, we need to get new side side beams. We're gonna have to get some new support beams, and we're gonna have to get metal that goes all across all across here because that's the, that's just the that's just all the metal that was just that's just gonna need replacing. Then once we get once we get the new support beams, then we'll we'll get all the new support beams welded all welded onto this, and then we can put onto the the new suspensions. Um, and then we can actually start taking things off from off from there. Um, but yeah, I think this is where I'm going to do it. Leave it off. So I'm going to I'm going to start turning up all my stuff, and um, that will probably and that will be the end of this video. Okay, so we ended up getting a lot of things done for the um, a lot of things done to the trailer, which is good. It feels weird to be able to, ch to take those so those safety glasses off. Oh, geez, I feel I feel a lot different now. Um, but anyway, this is this is where I'm going to leave it off for the video. Uh, if, as I say, if you guys have any suggestions of what I could do for that corner piece of the steel, that will be that will be much appreciated. Uh, stick around for the next video while when we we see what other hidden damage that this trailer does have, because I wasn't ex I was ex hope I was hoping that the um the side beams weren't as bad as they were, but you know this is an old trailer that has sat for years. Um, these type of things does happen, um, but anyway, this is, as I said, this is where I'm going to do it, so thank you guys all so much for watching, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, um, please subscribe to the channel so you guys can keep up to date with this rebuild, um, because this is going to be, this is going to be an awesome rebuild, and I do have more, I do have plans for this trailer in, uh, I do have plans for this trailer in the future, where I'm going to do a lot more stuff to it. Subscribe if this is the um, type of stuff that you guys like to see. Um, also, uh, also, uh, if you guys are interested, you, you guys can also join my Discord server to where you guys can get an insider scoop before uh, you, uh, before YouTube. Because um, right there, because there I'll post a bunch of stuff that you know that um, I'll just keep you guys updated to with with what I'm doing. Uh, so if you guys if you guys like a little info or like to talk with me. Um, between videos and all that, then do, please join the Discord server down below. Also, if you guys, um, if you guys are interested, uh, I do have a, I do have a second channel which is called the Game, which is my gaming channel. Which, uh, so if you guys want to see me, um, if you guys want to see me more frequently doing other stuff, then that is the channel to go to, and it's the best way to support me as well. Um, but anyway, with all that said and done, thank you guys all so much for watching, and I will catch you guys all for the next video. Until then, peace.